Welcome students. So in, in the earlier session we already saw about genotype, phenotype, about dominant and recessive alleles and every explanation I gave you. So in this uh, session we are going to learn about two diseases that is hemophilia and color blindness. Okay, about this two genetic diseases. So these uh, diseases are being inherited from parents to offsprings. Okay children. So First of all, here you have to understand one main thing. We are going to learn about X-linked inheritance. Okay. First of all, what we are going to learn is X-linked inheritance. Okay. So, what is X-linked inheritance means? The recessive genes will be present in the X chromosome. We know in male, we are having one X chromosome. Male XY, female XX. Male, we are having only one X chromosome. Female, we are having two X chromosome. So, all the recessive genes, recessive genes of these two diseases will be present in X chromosome. That is the meaning of X-linked inheritance. X-linked inheritance. Now, before that, you should understand what is hemophilia. Hemophilia is a bleeder's disease, meaning blood fails to clot. We know when some cut happens in our body, in our hand or somewhere, there is small cut. Okay, what happens? Blood starts to bleed. After a few minutes, you can uh, see, you can find that there will be a clot formed at that place and blood stops bleeding. But if this blood continues to bleed without clotting, it fails to clot and it continues to bleed, it is known, it is a disease, okay, known as hemophilia. Okay, next is color blindness. Color blindness, it is also a genetic disorder. So, it is just the symptoms are the person cannot identify certain colors. For example, red and green. He cannot identify red and green. Like that, uh, he, that is called as color blindness. Okay, children. So, first you have to understand hemophilia and color blindness. It occurs mostly in males than females but it doesn't mean that it doesn't occur in females it occurs in female also but mostly it is seen in males okay yes so now we will see what is crisscross inheritance what is crisscross inheritance so before saying uh, crisscross inheritance i have to tell you one thing so if our parents are having some disease or if they are the carriers of some disease that disease will be inherited by the daughters also okay but in crisscross inheritance the gender will change if mother is having a disease if mother is having a disease okay then the son also will have that disease once the son becomes a father when once the son becomes a father okay that father's daughter also will get that disease Again, once this daughter becomes a mother, okay, this mother, mother, if uh, this mother has a son, that son will get this disease. So, from female to male, male to female, female to male, like this, the generation is inherited. The disease is inherited in a crisscross manner. That is why it's known as crisscross inheritance. Understood? Remember, recessive genes of X chromosome alone will be affected. Now, listen, we'll see an example. Okay, children. So, these are two examples. R, R, roller and R, R, roller. Okay, this small R represents non-rolling. You just understand this first. Small R, it repre represents non-rolling. Okay, it is a recessive character. And capital R represents rolling which is a dominant character dominant character okay children yes so there are two parents i am representing circle for uh, female and square for male okay circle for female this is female and square for male now we are going to find their offsprings so this is punnett square using punnett square we are going to find their offsprings so listen carefully First, in this place, you are going to write male. What you should write? Male. That is very important. Understood? So, here you will be writing male, parent, uh, genes you will write here. 
this side you will be writing female parent genes okay now i am writing male parent gene what is that a capital letter r and small letter r okay capital letter r small letter r here female also capital letter r small letter r capital letter r small letter r now we are going to cross how we will cross like this in this direction you will be crossing understood remember that now i am going to cross this okay so let's say carefully r r which is dominant that you write first okay next r r next r r next r r see i have crossed small letter r capital letter r capital letter r then uh, sorry uh, yeah capital letter r capital letter r then capital letter r small letter r and small letter r small letter r you are crossing like that first you cross this and this then you cross this and this then you cross this and this then this and this okay like that you are crossing understood yes so now you write the names for each things so this is heterozygous because two are different so this is known as r r is heterozygous heterozygous dominant by one dominant character is present okay next this is also heterozygous dominant okay this is homozygous recessive homozygous recessive next this is homozygous dominant this is homozygous dominant okay children yes homozygous dominant that's it okay so now you can write the phenotype and genotype of this right very important children phenotype and genotype uh, type so phenotype phenotype and genotype okay so phenotype is what are the observable characters that you will call it, call it as phenotype you are having one two three dominant you are having one recessive you are having yes so 3 is to 1 this is phenotype next genotype is separately separately you are writing mm, one dominant we are having one dominant one dominant then two heterozygous dominant two heterozygous dominant two heterozygous dominant and one homozygous recessive this is genotype understood children phenotype means only the dominant character we will be taking and writing genotype means we will consider dominant and recessive so this capital letter r and small letter r is heterozygous dominant two are there so we are writing two other things only one are there so one is to two is to one okay now see another question a possible family where both parents are phenotypically similar but genotypically they are different meaning phenotypically they are similar means what children they are having same observable character now see this it is dominant it is dominant both are dominant only okay but genotypically different meaning this is homozygous dominant this is heterozygous dominant okay now uh, we are going to cross now we can consider um, this as fem female and this as male i'm just showing you example okay children yes. so i told you already first you have to write here male and here female okay so male i'm writing capital letter r capital letter r female capital letter r small letter r now we are going to cross over this okay now mm, how we will cross like this now so r small letter r again capital letter r capital letter r again small letter r capital letter r right first capital letter okay next capital letter r capital letter r yes so here now what you are noting you have to write here capital letter r and small letter r two 
you are getting one and two two you are having so this is heterozygous dominant heterozygous dominant okay next capital letter r capital letter r like that two you are having so it is homozygous dominant homozygous dominant now can we write the phenotype and genotype children yes so phenotype and genotype okay so phenotype what we are observing how many dominant characters are there 1 2 3 and 4 four dominant characters are there okay so this is heterozygous dominant this is homozygous dominant so i am writing it 2 is to 2 genotype how many are there 2 is to 2 so genotype and phenotype will be same in this condition understood yes so that's all is the thing under this so this is about um, the what to say how you have to uh, find out the generation okay